All right. It's going to start this week. It's now the very mm -hmm. end of January. January is a little rough. We had those almost two weeks of sub-zero temperatures. Um, cold has got down to, in this valley, got down to minus 12. Um, so you ain't doing that stuff then. So all the posts in the ground, you wouldn't have been able to put a T post in the ground then. So then following that came warmer temperatures and rain. So we've had probably two weeks of rain, a week and a half, whatever. So nothing's been done on this. So but this week, no rain. This is the first day today with no rain. We had dental appointments and stuff today, so we couldn't do it. So tomorrow, I'm going to go get some uh, T-Post. And we're going to start. This is down at the bottom. That right there. Oh, this right here is uh, going to be a walk-through gate. And uh, so that'll be that. So the fence for now is going to end at that post right there. And uh, so then it goes on up. Cattle panels or ramping panels got to be moved. So it goes up. It corners off here. So this this is happening this week. Corners off here. And goes ties in down that way. Uh, you see the T-post down there. So it's going to be muddy. I'm going to put some old hay down. And uh, so that fence that you see that goes all from there to there, um, it uh, stops right at the corner, I think, around in there. And um, I'm not pointing too far, yeah, around in there. And uh, so that fence all folds back and however far it comes here. And then there's that chunk of fence that goes there to the gate that all comes out and i'll weave that into the other one uh i'll show a little thing of that and so that fence that will be the fence that goes down here stretch it all nice and tight and finish it off down there and uh then up here that those t-posts comes out they get moved over and i gotta put a couple more t-posts up there by the the uh, chicken pen alongside it where I did have regular post so then that new fencing oh and this will be a gate here I gotta tie that all in and put that gate right there hey Zoomy 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 yeah a little tooly so I'll put that gate over here tidy this all up That way we can walk through there, let them into this nice big pen. The chicken, the beef, whatever. What are you guys doing? Huh? Yeah. So this pen over here, which is where all the all the coops and houses all go into this pen. So that fence goes away. That's it. That post really is a top post. Um, that goes away. So this pin now will go up here. I got to get a post for that. And it corners off right there. And then all those two posts there will be moved to this new line and run down alongside the barn there. You can see the post. And uh, so that'll be new post and new fence there. So now that gives us an area from basically from here and then all the way down to well that corner set down there. It'll be a lot wider area plus it has that little dog leg that's down there and um, all that clutter. Now all the pins come out between the lean to and the bent the uh, barn and uh, so yeah, it's gonna be a job taking those down, relocating the houses, and moving the flocks one by one. So we'll have these two flocks, the new pins here. Anyway, you'll see it, you'll see it all. You'll see it come together, and it starts tomorrow.
So I lost my audio here. I forgot to turn the button on my mic. Anyway, this is my homemade fence post driver. And I uh, got it from a guy. And it was just the red part with the straight T-bars. And it was real big around and short. So I, I conked myself on the head with it. Uh, but I knocked myself out back in the day. And so I put those... Uh, those two bent bars on the side to keep that from ever happening again. Then it was too short, it kept slipping off there, so I, I put that inner pipe in there to make it longer. And it's got a lot of weight to it, but boy, it'll drive them posts down nothing flat. going down here I want to show you this um, I used to have a there was a, a, a six by six oak post I don't know, 10 or 12 foot tall and anyway it rotted out right there and held it we got a little gate right there so I put a new post in there but I still don't have it braced and I didn't want to go to town and get a brace there's the old post uh, so I uh, had this little idea of what I could do with an old piece of corral uh, pipe, which I just put it at an angle there and welded it up. You'll see here in a second, I'll show you a little better. See, I just slide over a drive one in the ground and put one at approximately a 45 that goes up in, into a slot into that uh, eight inch post. And uh, worked out really well, so. The rest is just putting that in place. <laughs> 